Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are testing some Dollar Tree toys today. If you ever walked through the aisles of Dollar Tree and wondered if it's worth your $1.25, then this video is for you. I'm gonna test some of the new things that I found recently to tell you whether or not they are worth your $1.25. I have a lot to show you in this video. We're gonna test a lot of things. Let's get started. There is so much in this toy test that I don't even know where to begin. So I'm just gonna start with the color form Scrabble Jr. These color form games have been around a while. I think they started last year we already did a Dollar Tree toy test on Battleship one and then right before Christmas Dollar Tree came out with some new ones including the Scrabble Jr. I also think a new one was the Guess Who game maybe Shoots and Ladders was new too I'm not sure but it's from Color Forms and we had really good luck with the Battleship one and it's just a great travel option or a tryout option so I was curious about this one because Scrabble Jr. is great for learning spelling and letters what do we got here I'm throwing everything around all right we have our instructions. Is that it? That's it. This says it comes with 32 color forms, four pawns, 105 letter tiles, and instructions. So what we have is a double-sided board, and the box says that it is a double-sided game board that grows with you. We'll see about that, won't we? Okay, so here's the board. This is the easy side where the letters are put out for you and the words are put out for you, so you just have to match them up. Then on the flip side, we have the blank board, so you can play like regular Scrabble. Here are our letters. Letters. These white circles must be pawns. Oh yes, because you, you go around the board here when you're scoring points, I think. And then we have a back side to them. And then the back just has our Scrabble logo on it. We have our instructions. What is this, you guys? This color form stickers that go in to that spot. I bet when you make a word, you put it on there. Is that what we do? Full instructions for Scrabble Junior. If you complete a word, you get one point and you move your token across the track along the edges of our game board here. Sorry for the glare, it is a shiny thing. And if you complete a word that's the same color as your token, see how each one of these has different colors around the word, word then you get extra points. And then on this side, you would just play like a normal Scrabble game. So there are little tokens on these little sticker sheets here that you can, or little color forms that you can put onto your tokens, and then you can play the game that way. So let's check out if these actually stick really well. So we got our letter tiles here. These are actually not sticky. These tiles are just little cardboard pieces. I was really hoping that they'd be color forms and they would stick to the board. What does stick to the board are these little color forms here, and they stick right on. So that is a little disappointing, but I do see why they did that because when you play Scrabble, you're supposed to turn over all of these little pieces and be able to pick them up a lot easier. So maybe that's the reason why they decided not to make these color forms. All in all, I would say that it is okay. I'm gonna give it a thumbs down just because I was hoping that these would be color forms to stick to here and to be able to do even some extension activities. I do like the Battleship one a lot better than this one, but it still functions and it still does the game and does what it says. These are super, super tiny though and really hard to pick up. Next up, let's try these Turbo Wheels. It is an action car carrier. This one came in a couple of different colors. I think there was a yellow, red, green, and it says on the back of the package that it's supposed to actually move. So I did go up and get a little car to try this out and see if it works. The Turbo Wheels brand at Dollar Tree is actually pretty good for the price. All right, so here we have it out of the box. Does it actually, yeah, yeah, it does. Moves, and then this little piece here in the back comes down. Oh, nice, so it actually goes Flat. So we can wheel our car in, give this a good test. Forgot our little ramp there and put it together. Definitely fits a matchbox car right inside and the pieces come down. We also have the top, so can we figure out how to get the car to the top? So this one will fit four different cars in it. To have a car carrier, you can also get the cars at Dollar Tree, although I think they are cheaper at Walmart and cheaper when you buy them in multiple pack. But this little car action carrier actually works really, really well. It rolls well too. This one is a definite thumbs up. In the Valentine's Day section, we found some scratch stickers. In fact, they had a couple of different styles. I got two out of the three, I think. We have the pink hearts. This comes six to a package. And then the smaller silver hearts is 15 to a package. And according to the instructions on the back, we're supposed to write a message or draw a picture and then you peel off the scratch sticker and cover it up and then you can scratch it off. So you can use these on cards. You can use them for little reward coupons. So I've got my paper here to give it a shot. I'll pretend this is a card. I'm gonna write something on here. I guess you have to kind of make sure it fits within this size. And since I have two different ones, I'll do little two different designs here. 
So let's try the large pink heart one first. This would be really fun to use in creating activities. So you can have like a hidden message or a hidden word. It's kind of hard to peel off actually. It's sticking to the paper. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. And you're supposed to just place it over your picture. Perfect, now let's get our silver one. So you can do like a hidden word in there. Maybe you're working on spelling words and there's a missing letter. This might be fun to put in that too. This one's just as hard to get off. It's wanting to take the paper with it. Here we go. Over our smiley face. Kinda, there's some purple peeking out. And then you're supposed to scratch it to reveal. So I'm just gonna see if I can use my pencil top here and work on it. Okay, that didn't work. So let's go get a coin or a key. Found a penny. How about that? It actually worked. That's the pink one. We do the silver. And there's my smiley face. What's cool to note is there's actually like a plastic film over this. So it's not the paper. So it's still that sticker backing on it. So this one definitely works. And I like the possibilities, not only for Valentine's Day, but you could probably make some really cool, engaging activities, learning letters. I'm using these for the answers to math problems. Oh my gosh, so many ideas. You guys have to tell me some ideas you have on this. So I love this, the two different sizes. And I do think they come in different colors. This is getting a big, thumbs up. Since this one's kind of similar, I'm going to do it next. It's a scratch and reveal Valentine craft kit. So it's still a scratch activity, just a little bit different. There are some pre-cut shapes and designs here on the back. Let's see what we got. Oh, it comes with a little scratcher too. This is good. I could have used that on my, on my hearts. We have some pancakes and syrup, cheese and macaroni. This is like we go together things, I guess. Eggs and bacon, hot sauce and a taco, and popcorn and a soda and a cheeseburger and fries. So you're supposed to be able to scratch these to reveal the designs behind them. So which one should we do? How about the hamburger and fries? I'm gonna do it on top of some paper here to catch all of my shavings. So it's working, but definitely this tool is a little bit flimsy to scratch this off. And it actually kind of, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Let me switch to my penny. Not a fan of this scratch off stick. All right, starting to reveal the hamburger here. Penny definitely works better. I have other scratch tools that I've used that are wooden that work really nice. I would probably try using that before anything else, but this little plastic stick, it just doesn't work and that noise. Can't stand that noise. The pictures are super cute and it's doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, we're starting to see the hamburger there, but I would have to say to get it off, it took a lot of effort. So because of that, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. I was kind of hopeful that it might just be a fun little activity kit activity, but that was really annoying and irritating <laughs> trying to get that off. It take a lot of patience to finish a whole entire picture. Yeah. Not liking this one, you guys. I'm going to give it a thumbs down. This one is part of the new line at Dollar Tree. It's their eco-friendly line. And I showed in my Dollar Tree shop with me the whole entire line that I saw so far in the stores. This one I just thought looked pretty. They are two highlighters. There was two other colors in another package. I only got this one. It says they're made from recycled plastic. So we were going to just try them out and see what they look like. Kind of feels like back to school already, right? I like the size of them and the shape. Of course, I had to get the purple one, right? We got a chisel tip and they right really well. I'll try the pink. Nice. I did expect them to do what they were supposed to do. I just wanted to check out the pigment on the ink and I think that that's pretty good. It looks pretty transparent, not too dark, and the colors are really pretty. So the only other test I would have to do is to see how long they last, but I think in general this new line can get thumbs up. These little surprise bags came around Christmas time as stocking stuffers. There were so many different surprise bags, but I wanted to try this. I got one as a prize for reading and then this one I got to open up with you guys. It says there's surprise animal erasers in here includes four animal erasers ages three and up which one will you get i don't know so let's open it and see duh oh these are cute they're dinosaurs i wonder if they're all dinosaurs probably not because i see different animals on here like a whale and a even a pig so it looks like i got the dinosaur set in all different colors are they the same dinosaur no there's one missing its arms yeah so this little <laughs> this one's missing its arms i don't see it in the package all right well one's missing its arms but I got three Tyrannosauruses and then looks like one pterodactyl. So if your kids like erasers and they're into the mini erasers then this is a definite win. I don't like that they came with different only two styles. It would have been nice to have a couple different dinosaurs in here but they are different colors so I can't complain about that. Can't complain that this one has lost its arms but I think that might just be a fluke 
hopefully. So I'm gonna give these little surprise bags a thumbs up, just something fun to have. Also great to keep a hold of for Easter baskets too. Let's try out the Puzzle Tivity Color It puzzle. This one is the Arthur theme. There was other PBS ones. I think there was a Wild Kratz. There was also a Dragon Train, I believe, and a couple of other different styles in the Arthur one. This one just caught my eye. So these are tray puzzles that you color. Let's see if I can open it up here. I thought it was just kind of a unique idea, kind of fun. So you can two activities in one versus just putting the puzzle together. Dollar Tree puzzles are hit and miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Cute. I like the design a lot, so let's check out the quality. Okay, they're pretty thick. I would say this would be like a typical tray puzzle weight and feel. And then I do like that we have the outlines on here too to help put the puzzles back. So that I do like. Now the coloring part. Yeah, these puzzle pieces are really thick. I think I'm gonna choose markers to do this one. Let's try coloring this sofa. Flowers on the sofa blue. All right, I just colored that one piece in really quickly just to check it out. And I would have to say it went out really nice. Might have used a bigger marker and then it fits back in. If you're going to do this, I would recommend keeping all the puzzle pieces together so that you know what you're coloring in or not. But that looks really great. So I'd have to say this is a lot of fun and I like the two steps with the two activities, the coloring and then the puzzle making, something that they made. That's pretty cool. Plus it's an Arthur puzzle. Can't go wrong with this. This one we're definitely going to give a thumbs up on. Next, I really wanted to take a look at these mailbox kits. I have two different ones. These are the ones that do not come with a box and you would have to have your own box or shoe box for. There's a couple different styles in these. And then this one actually comes with the box inside and the adhesive and so you don't need any glue for it. I was going to check out these, see how they do, see if they're worth it because you can buy these usually for a little bit more at Target or at Michael's. So I wanted to kind of compare because that's usually what we get. This one is the Valentine's mailbox, create your own shark. And this is the one that it's supposed to come with its own box, although it looks kind of small for the box size. This is the kind of thing that's gonna sell pretty quick too, so if you are interested in it, you might have to go check it out. Here's our box. It's probably like a poster board kind of feeling to it, material. Looks like we've got, it's just to assemble it here. Already colored gray for us. Oh, that was really easy. All right, there is our shark box. Then we need to add on our head, our shark head. There's no instructions, so you just kind of have to figure it out. And we got a fin and bubbles. The other one here, we'll just go ahead and punch this one out. Here's our little adhesive dots. So this is what we use to put it on. Let's see if I can get this out with my nails. So I have some adhesive on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put on our shark head fins, turning out pretty cute. And then I've got a fin for the back. And then they gave me some accessories here to put like a little anchor on here. And I've got some bubbles. Where should I put the bubbles? I'll just put a couple on the front like they have in the picture. And then maybe some up here on the top. And there you have it. <laughs> kind of cute, huh? I will have to say this is not the sturdiest of boxes. Like a shoe box is definitely going to last you longer. But it is a Valentine's mailbox. So it's only going to be needed for that one day. The size is actually pretty good, I'd have to say. You could probably fit a whole class worth of paper Valentine's in here. And then some. And then take it home. $1.25. I'd have to say this is pretty adorable. So I want to give this a thumbs up. Especially because a child could easily do this. Then we have the two kits that don't come with a box. I kind of wanted to open them up and see what was inside. This one's the rainbow one. This is a box topper with the clouds. So this will go on top of your box or your shoe box. Then we have the rainbow, which on the picture, they show it going over the top of the box too, this. But I would imagine you could also put it on the side. That might be cute. And we have all the little accessories to go with it. So what you get is, this is a cloud. This cloud goes over this cloud, foam piece. And then you get this other cloud to go over here, also foam. And then there's a couple of little hearts that you can place anywhere. This sheet is full of purple glitter hearts, bullish pink. Once again, you're supposed to put them along the rainbow. We have our sun sunshine that's supposed to go up there and our sunshine face <laughs> look how cute that is there's a little circle on um, cheeks on the sheet that go on to there and then in this bag we have our pom-poms and pipe cleaners the pom-poms are to make the clouds and the pipe cleaners are to make heart shapes or to use as rays in your rainbow so you just would glue all these onto your clouds this is really cute it's kind of nice that all of the materials are just put together for you you just need the, the box and the adhesive to put it all together. So I would have to say it's actually a really cute kit, especially if you want a bigger box, like a shoe box size. So I like this rainbow one. Let's check out the dinosaur one. 
This is gonna be a very similar concept. So we have the box cover with the hole. This one's a hearts in pink. Our dinosaur, which is really cute. Now this one they're saying to put on the side of the box. So it'll look more like this when you have it all put together. You can go on the side of your box as well as decorations, like a border. This sheet has some pink hearts in it. And then it also has the dinosaurs scales that go on the back. These are made out of foam. Some more borders. And then this one on the front has a whole bunch of hearts. So they got the giant red heart, the heart that says love that goes in the center, some glitter hearts on here. And then in this bag, we have the Google eyes for the dinosaur and then some pipe cleaner to go in between these two hearts. Oh, and it looks like this border also has these little cutouts here that come out. You have a design on your border. And then on the tail, you're supposed to put a red heart on the dinosaur's tail. That's just super cute. So this one's a little bit different. I'd have to say the materials in the rainbow one are probably a little bit better, but this one is super cute too. All in all, I'm going to give these a thumbs up for both of them. Next up, we have these art foam rollers with trays. They are part of the Jot brand. However, you might find them in the craft section too, because I think they're considered like a kid's craft item. I have four of them. I think there was six different styles, but I have four because each one of the rollers is a little bit different. And I was wondering if each one kind of worked differently. The tray is kind of cool for two reasons. It's actually tilted. So the paint does run or supposed to run in there. And then they have a little um, notch in here. You can actually hang it up. Here's the roller. Looks like it rolls pretty well. It's got a pretty sturdy handle. So I was going to try this with some paint. I also think it might be fun if it was more like a diluted water paint versus an acrylic paint, but that's all I have right now is the acrylic paint. So let's open these up and try them. I'm trying all the brushes. We got one here that's kind of like a zigzag. This one has some bumps in it all the way across in rows. This one looks like lines and this one is lines the other way. Try it with some acrylic paint. I'm just going to use one of the paint trays instead of all of them and hopefully I don't need too much paint. Okay, let's try this one first. Get paint all on it. Okay, that's covered. Roll off my excess. <laughs> All right, and let's try it on our paper. Wow, that definitely worked. Okay, okay, liking that. Look at that texture with the lines. Let's try the other ones. This is the bumpy one. Of course, if you were doing this, like I said, I'd probably put a little bit of water maybe in. That kind of looks like tire tracks. That's cool. This is the wavy line one. This one's getting in all of the um, spots that aren't the lines. Okay, that's pretty cool. You're seeing the spots where I didn't have a lot of paint in my paint tray. So that's not necessarily the product. It's more Christina air than anything else because I'm trying not to waste so much paint. All right, and this is the lines. Ooh, that might be my favorite one. That one looks really cool. All right, you guys. So out of these four brushes, I think there's a couple more. These work so well. I really do think that they're a lot of fun and can be really adding something to painting. So all of these are getting a big thumbs up. I'm gonna put another video up here on screen for you to check out next. See you over there. Make sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.